hi fellow enthusiasts welcome to my channel let's go into today's video and we're gonna come back at the end to wrap it up in this episode we'll be looking at a preamplifier an amplifier and how we can convert this into an FM transmitter so basically this is a shunt transistor preamplifier going into um, an LM386 power amplifier then to a speaker this amplifier is similar to what we did earlier on so I'm going to put the link for you to look at the simulation how we arrived at the components we use here the, the, the two R's the two resistors we use here now we converted this amplifier into um, a transmitter an FM transmitter and I will show you how we are able to do that so let's just delve into it right now right so in this amplifier you're seeing right here on the right hand side is the uh, power amplifier so we're going to leave it in place that way and you must have seen this other circuit that I'm showing on the screen right now this was from a previous video when we did the original um, design right so this is a crystal FM transmitter it's operating with a 27 uh, megahertz crystal yet we were able to receive it on um, 108 megahertz on the radio right so we i'm going to show you how we're able to do that and how we're able to get from 27 megahertz to 108 megahertz so if you have this crystal or anyone um lower 25 or 24 megahertz you should be able to do the same thing that i'm going to show you right now but first of all let me just show you how to convert this preamplifier to an FM transmitter we've done this before so you will be familiar with that but let me just do it one more time and uh, we can take it from there right so in this amplifier I'm gonna leave everything the, the way it is and I'm just gonna add a crystal right here all right so let me remove the other yeah so and that's it so we have the crystal here and then i'm going to add one capacitor from here so this capacitor it can be 27 picofarads or 47 i think i've tried both you can also try 30 picofarads and right here you have built a crystal amplifier a crystal transmitter fm transmitter as simple as it is right here you have built an fm transmitter okay we're going to prove that uh, we've taken the liberty to solder this up earlier so that we can save time in the demo here so but if you don't know how to solder please watch the video on soldering i'm going to put it also in the link so it will be easy for you to know how to solder once you solder it up you should be able to have something similar to what we have here so that's the c mic the c mic on the right here um and then there is the uh one microfarad capacitor and then there is the 10 kilo ohm pull up resistor and then there's the 56 kilo ohms um, resistor, the 5k one, and then the crystal, and the rest remains the same. This is the LM386. All right, and then this this wire goes to that speaker. So let's fire it up. We have a battery here. We're just gonna plug it in. All right, this will. I don't have the 1 kilo ohm resistor here, uh, 1.5 kilo ohm, so I connected it up this way because I want to use this as a transmitter. So at some point later, we're going to cut this off. Let's see, let's just delete something. Uh, we're going to disconnect from here and then connect up an antenna. Okay, right. So that's why I didn't solder in this resistor, but I have it connected through a wire this way. So I'm going to plug it in. All right. 
So let's see how this works. Okay, so you can hear the amplifier is um, working right now. Now we're going to try to make this into a transmitter, okay? This, the amplifier works fine. So the amplifier works great as intended. Now to make this a transmitter, I'm just going to unlink, I'm going to unlink the, the amplifier from the, the transmitter and then just connect one of the wires as an antenna. So let's just find one wire. So we're gonna take this one, I'll just connect it up as an antenna. So it's gonna go from the 30 picofarad capacitor, which is this tiny little piece right here. So the output of that goes into this antenna. So we're gonna plug in our power back. So let's look at the transmitter. Right, so you remember our software defined radio? And um, here it is. So I'm just gonna plug it in. I um, can get this one, I think we, we got it for under $10. I don't remember exactly. But you will see that in some of our videos. So I'm just gonna plug it in into the uh, computer. And then you can hear the sound when it's connected. So I'm just gonna uh, fire it up. I'm gonna connect. Click on this to start it. Narrow band. Yeah. yeah. I think, I think it's, better it's better with band. Yeah. Even, Even I think it's better with narrow band. But let's see. Nine nine two. Nine nine two. By accident, we found out this, this is a better uh, uh, frequency. frequency. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. All right. So, so this is the frequency. But this is the expected band. Now, now, how we show you how we convert this to uh, uh, one or two megahertz, megahertz transmitter. transmitter. All right. All right. So, so we didn't do anything. It's just happened on its own. But I'll show you the logic, logic behind that. 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 So, so let's, let's go, go into it right away. away. Now, so what is going to happen is, look at here. There's something they call harmonics. Harmonics is just an integer multiple of a fundamental frequency. So based on our design. Um, the, the crystal operates at 27 megahertz, so you can call that 27 megahertz the fundamental frequency. Now, at every integer multiple of this crystal, it will also oscillate or transmit, or you, you also get uh, a component of this oscillation on the on every harmonic. I think from the second to the 19th are the most uh, important. Or the, the most prominent the rest of them after the 19th harmonic is very weak and so uh, very small and maybe not useful so here at our first harmonic we have 27 megahertz second harmonic will be 54 megahertz third harmonic 81 megahertz fourth harmonic 108 megahertz you just have to multiply this out so 27 times 4 that's 108 27 times 2, 54, 27 times 3, that's 81, and so on and so forth. So at every harmonic, you get the transmitter to resonate or to you get a, a, a function of the frequency at the output. Now, the waveform will look like this to the right. You see the, the, the first harmonic or the fundamental frequency. The second harmonic, the waveform will look, you know, a little bit, the amplitude will be a little bit lower. And then also the third and then the fourth the amplitude, the amplitude goes lower and lower and lower. Now, what you can do to, to have a very good design is for you to build what they call band pass filter. A band pass filter will pass some bands and reject some bands. So for our purpose, you can build, first of all, a high pass filter. And this point will be, say, like 87 so anything above 87 will be passed and then after that you have a low pass filter and this so this will be the amplitude and this will be the frequency so and then you make your the the 3 db point here will be let's say one zero nine let's say so anything above 87 will be allowed to go through. So anything below 87 will be blocked. 
and then anything um, above 109 will be blocked and so what this leaves you is 88 to 108 but then our transmitter our crystal here um, the, the, the fourth harmonic falls within here which is around 108 and then if you have other crystals you can use the same crystals if you are targeting the FM range and then you don't have to build multiple filters for this so you have to do low pass filter and high pass filter I'll show you um, quick configurations to make your, your filters so the, for your low pass filter it's going to be an inductor some people use um, resistors like you're going to do like pi and then here is a capacitor so this will be a low pass filter l1 l2 c1 this is your low pass and then your high pass filter is similar just change the position of the inductors and capacitors so capacitor capacitor and then inductor over here in out l1 c1 c2 high pass now you're going to find the, the values of the, these components um, so to get the values you you will you know that um, xc that's capacitive impedance or reactance is 1 over 2 pi fc and XL, inductive reactance, is 2 pi FL, right? So find a value that when you, the value for C and the value for L, that for here, for low pass, for low pass, um, you want a value that will allow only frequencies that are lower, because you know that as the C goes higher, the XC goes lower right so you want a value of c that will shut everything that is that is below that, that is above certain value to the ground because as as f increases as f increases xc reduces for the same value of c so find that value of c that will shut everything that is above certain value to ground and then anything be, below that because then F will be smaller, those ones can go through. The converse is true for high pass. As F increases or as L increases, XL increases. So, hence this is a high pass. Find a value of L that allows your F, as your F is increasing or as your L is increasing, find a value that will, this value will increase. As, as XL increases, it's almost like an uh, an um, open circuit, if you will, or high Z. High Z means the the the, the signal will prefer to go through the path of least resistance. As L increases, more signal goes through. But at a lower frequency, at a lower frequency, because lower F means lower XL. At, at lower frequency, this value will be. Uh, will offer low impedance and allow signal to go to the ground. Remember that XC is the opposite, right? So you find a value that will allow you to do that. So that's basically it right here. Um, so let's let's do, let's de demo this right now. All right, so I'm gonna turn this back on and then let's just go to 54, 54. So we can do a little bit of 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 a little bit
So we'll we'll do it now, now the next one one is one eight. So let's go. Let's see. Yeah. All right. I don't know if white band. No, we need it to be narrow band. All right. A narrow band. Not centered, as you can see. So we're gonna fine tune a little bit and get it to work. So we have an amplifier. We have converted this amplifier into, into an, an FM, FM transmitter. I'll show you this one more time. time. You're right. So right. So that's the circuit right there. Go to that, and it works as we expected. Right. It's an FM, FM transmitter. This um, uh, amplifier here does nothing for us anymore. We cannot practically move it from the safety because we don't need it. Right. We don't need it. And remember, we don't connect the input anymore. We just have an antenna right here, so I can actually move the antenna. It still works. Not as clear as you expect, but when you plug it in back in, it's a lot better. Right. And you can actually look at the. Let's look at the receive signal strength and all that. Um, so you can see the peak, the floor, the signal to noise ratio. If I remove the antenna, let's see. Signal to noise ratio, not a lot of improvements there. The peak, 2.2 right now. And uh, the floor, 37.7. Let's put the antenna back and see. If yeah, it incre increases. Yeah, the, peak the peak increases, increases. Yeah, yeah it increases with the antenna so we can leave the antenna in a signal to noise ratio is a little bit better, little with, better with the antenna we try the antenna we get like 40 something with the antenna you get like 50 something right and i think if you increase the antenna more you get better and better and better yeah okay so, so that's, that's it today. today. For right now, I want you to understand that you can make your, your pre-amplifier into a crystal transmitter. This is like a third or fourth video we do in this series. We're showing how easy it is. Use these components instead. This is stable. This is the battery. If the battery is low or, or high, it doesn't matter. Um, it still operates at a stable frequency. Anyway. I'm going to show you something now that shows you how the amplitude of the signal decays with uh, uh, successive harmonic. harmonic. So, so your fundamental frequency, frequency is your, your F-O. Your second, second harmonic, harmonic, in other words, words your fundamental frequency, frequency is also your first harmonic. harmonic. Your second, second harmonic, harmonic, the amplitude is less. less. If, if on, on the left, left side, side the particle axis, axis you, have you have the power in, in DBM, DBM uh, and, and then, then on the horizontal axis, you have frequency in as, As you go, go from, from left, left to right, right the frequency, frequency increase, increases, increases, but the amplitude, amplitude decreases. decreases. So, so you have F O, F two F O, three F O, four F O, five F O, and, and so on and so forth. And so forth. This, this transmitter right, right now is working at four F O, which is one of eight megahertz. Right. So you can see the amplitude really decreases. Then you have spurious. Pure emissions at, at subharmonics. So, so subharmonics sub are, are not really up, up to, to uh, an, an integer multiple of the, of the, of the fundamental, fundamental frequency. frequency. Right. right. So, I hope, so you've I hope you've learned, learned something, something today. today. Um, um, you can, can build, build an FM transmitter from a pre amplifier that was converted into an oscillator. The oscillator itself oscillates the fundamental frequency and then at, at every, every subsequent, subsequent harmonic, harmonic up to up the 19th, 19th harmonic. harmonic you can so see at 6th harmonic the amplitude, the amplitude is already, already low here. here think about, about the 19th, 19th and then beyond, beyond that, that. Yeah. Build, build something, something like this, like this let us know if you don't, you don't have, have the crystal you have, have you know what, you know what to, do. to do you don't you have to have the exact values that we have used you can use any value so just your crystal if you use 27 for FM, FM, the maximum, the maximum you can receive, receive will be around 108. So if you, so if you use 24, 24 just, just multiply that by, by any factor, factor that gets you within 88 and 108. Right. So, so 24, 24 
Um, the, the second, second harmonic, harmonic for 24, for 24 will be 48. 48. And, then and then the third, the third harmonic, harmonic will be, will be 72. 72. And then, and then the, the fourth, fourth harmonic, harmonic will be, will be uh, 96. 96. So if you're so using a 24 megahertz crystal, crystal, you're going to end, end up at 96. 96. So second, second harmonic, harmonic, third harmonic, fourth harmonic. Fourth harmonic. First, first, second, second third, third, fourth. fourth. So you can receive around, around here. here. If you're using a 20, 20 megahertz crystal, crystal uh, your, uh, first your first harmonic, harmonic will be 20, 20 second, second harmonic, harmonic 40, 40, third 60, 60 fourth 80, 80 steep below FM range. FM range. So, so fifth, fifth is 100, 100 so you can expect to receive something around 100. 100. The, the sixth will be 120, 120 which is beyond FM, FM range. range. So, so really, really, you can, can expect, expect it to work around, around here. here. Also, so so but again, but again remember you remember what we shown here, the... Sixth harmonic, harmonic, fifth harmonic, harmonic amplitude, amplitude is very low. low. So, so try, try to get crystal, crystal within 24, 24 I, would I would say 24 or 27. 27. Right. right, use anything in this range. range. Um, um, so, so that around, around your fourth harmonic, harmonic you have your operation at 96 or 24 or 108 for 27. Alright, thanks for sticking around to the end. That'll be it from us today. Please, if you have not subscribed, do so right now. And don't forget to like and share this video. Until we come your way again with more contents, stay enthused.